welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT now, and I'm IT Explosive One, and we are playing a Doctor Fix Me Up Problems with My Head game. Yep. Give me drugs, Dr. Duck Decker. Yep. Dot com. Drug me up. Drug me up, Daddy Doctors. All right, we're going to cross-examine Bryce because wow. he has an alibi in, what's her name, in Jasmine, but we yeah, need to verify first. Exactly. We'll see. It's like, he has a lot of options. Yeah. Can you How are see you today? something behind me? How are you today? Tell me uh, more about Dr. Decker. Can you see something behind me? And then you know. seem preoccupied. You seem preoccupied. How are you today? There's something I want to tell you about. It's something else that's wrong with me. I think I've been getting a bit out of control in my hour. Oh, because he gets the extra hour, the yeah. other guy Groundhog days. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how are you? You seem preoccupied. Let's go down here. I'm just going to kind of skip Sometimes around a little bit. Sometimes I see a girl standing behind you. I don't know who it is. I don't know what you're asking me either. Okay, okay. Well, then I guess now it's the "Can you see something behind me?" question. No, I'm. A, I mean, I'm just going to ask him how. You... When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked. Obviously, it took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? I'd be rich by Go day to two. Fairground. <laughs> go to go a, to a fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, I guess we're going to go to the county fair, bro. What am I going to do with frozen Ferris wheel, bro? I'd go to a fairground. I'd help people. I'd steal things. I'd spy on people. Where were you on Valentine's Day? Tell me. Okay. So, which one of these things would we do? I'd, I mean, we should say. Should we say we'd help people? Yeah, that was my. It's go the good the Samaritan route. I'd help, yeah, I'd help people. I did think, what good could I do other than catch up with work? Right. I did see a woman who was having her purse snatched. So I gave her purse back. And the crook, I placed him on a bus a few blocks away. I have no idea where it was going. She'd never really be able to thank me, so... And? I took another picture. I took advantage of her because she was in Frozen. Like, excuse me, sir. I took another, another picture. picture. Can we? Can we? Uh, can we comment on? Can we that? ask him about the picture? Can uh, you? Can you ask your own question? Just say a picture? Question mark. Oh yeah, let's. Uh, oh yeah, how do you do that? It's Y, y button, yeah. right? I would just put yeah. I'm gonna say can. I. See. Oh yeah, see the picture. Nice. Uh the. Make sure you put the uh, pick. Sure. And a question now mark. I'll put a question mark on it. I don't know. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, All good, right. So anyway, good way of game to really, really do <laughs> yeah, stuff. Right. Can you see something behind me now? Possibly a relative of yours. Possibly a patient that died here. Those are two completely random things. I'm not sure. She doesn't normally say anything. <coughs> okay. okay. So you see a ghost hanging out. Um. So why? I, I do we just leave the rest of that? I go to I'm the fairground. I mean, I'm gonna do this is the cross examination portion. Now I'm gonna ask him where was he on Valentine's yeah. Day? Yeah. See if he lies to me or not. I spent most of Valentine's Day at the art gallery. That's well, true. The evening part, anyway. They had a display with the theme "Love Conquers All." <laughs> Okay. All right. I didn't get most of the paintings, but they were well done. Oh, that's nice. Okay. He, he's he's, right. he's innocent. So right. we know Bryce and Jasmine did not kill the doctor. Right. So far, at least. Right, right. Um, Maybe they did it together and they're lying. Tell me more about Deck. I dug the grave for Dr. Deck. Oh, God. I helped carry his coffin to the burial site. Do you know what? It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. Why do you think that is? Bro, you got issues, homie. You, you got to tell me why you think that is, fam. I mean, I guess he knows because he carries coffins. He's a grave digger. Exactly. But... This is my second day on the job. You tell me why the coffin was no, a little light. The coffin wasn't empty. There was something in it. 
A decoy, I'd imagine. What the hell is happening? A decoy body, dude. I mean, this guy sees dead people, and he uh, gets 25 hours a day, and he lifts co- coffins for a living. Yeah, and digs graves. Yeah, so I I'm guess, I'm guessing yeah. he was buried somewhere else. Or cremated. Oh, well, that makes sense. Somebody if they cremated him and still buried a casket, I don't know why they would the do ground. that, but... Do you want to be cremated or buried, Doctor? That's a good question. Uh, Jonas, which one would you like? I, want, I think cremated, dude. That's a good choice, Doctor. Less work for me. That was like my thought, <laughs> is he would like it because it was less work for him. <laughs> I don't understand asking <laughs> that question in like a casual conversation and then smiling about it. All right. Um, I already. Oh. So I guess we don't have to get all the way to the end with everybody. I because, guess not. Because I, I mean, why would we go back? He asked us one question. We have four answers. Yeah. Why yeah. would we? I kind of want to say go to a fairground. I don't know. But I don't know. It's we, so we can... out of order. Like I don't understand. Like yeah. I guess we don't. I guess completely get the meta of what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, but... it's fine. He's still on red too, which I feel like we have to get some of these questions in order to get him up back up to yellow. But for now, we'll get off of Bryce and yeah. we'll come back. Let's go to uh. Let's rep- go to the hot tr- chick. Right? Oh, okay. No. I was gonna say repeat a day guy because to see if oh, he's Nathan. Yeah, because he All was right. talking about the. Yeah, let's go to him real quick. Okay. How are you today, Nate? Hello again, Doctor. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident, but let's not talk about it. Yesterday, I set fire to Hannah's <laughs> clothes in the garden. I, I just wanted the day to move forward. I instantly regretted it. And lo and behold, here we are, a new day. Hannah's clothes are part of ashes. Uh-huh. Um, I would take it that she's your ex-girlfriend now, right? <laughs> What did uh, what did Decker think of you? Or Let's you ask going? him why he burned the clothes, yeah, man. I'm, I'm curious. I've kept almost all of her stuff as she left it. Oh, she's dead. Just the clothes. I decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. He did say she died, huh? Clothes. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another, and only buy stuff she loved. I was left with winter. I don't even know what her favorite season was. Does it matter? What's your favorite season, Doctor? Oh, boy. Um, What is our favorite season, <clears throat> oh, Doctor? Oh, boy. What did he say her favorite season was? He said he didn't know her favorite season. Oh. He said he was left with winter clothes, but that was it. He said he didn't know her favorite season. All right, so we're, I don't think it's winter. Let's then. say spring, because it's when all the life comes back to life. Try all to right. stay all positive. If you like spring, you're supposed to be optimistic Boom. and creative. Figured. Well, that explains why we're still having these sessions. Nice, good answer. I think wonder, that was a good answer. Wonder if he would have said anything. And different. now, see, in this one, it disappeared. The other options. Yeah, I saw that. Too. Yeah. Uh, what were you doing on yeah, Valentine's Day? I was at Henley Church on Valentine's Day. Okay. Visiting Hannah's grave. Oh, poor guy. It's the anniversary of her death. Wow. Her parents wanted a huge funeral with all the trimmings. Hannah would never have come for it. But it does give me somewhere to visit. I got to write the epitaph. Let me see if something real quick. Bryce, any new questions? No. Okay. Go back to Nate. Because if he was visiting the graveyard, I just thought it might have been the same one that Bryce worked at. I don't remember exactly where Bryce said he worked, but, you know, just just what's on the epitaph. This is a good one. We walk alone without our angel. Oh. That's, that's... Oh, because he has to say, what? when did you leave Henley Church? Because that's that... uh. That tells us when he would left because of the time thing. We yeah. know that. Oh, we, we get some questions here. Um, are you religious? Do you feel lonely? Uh, let's go with, are you religious? I'm not religious. But when I wrote Hannah's epitaph, I knew her parents would want some acknowledgement of the great bearded one. <laughs> she was an angel to me. She was an angel to everyone. That's fair, guy. I'm- yeah. You know, it's it's a real shame. Do you feel lonely now that she's gone, big guy? I've been alone since Hannah. I can't imagine anyone ever replacing her. Not that I've looked. Do you think I should look for someone else? Oh, absolutely, Jonas. He has. He needs a slump buster. Yeah, a slump buster. He, he just needs to get back on that horse. Yeah. 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 You should. Okay. Fine. I'll try. Okay. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for though. 
just sign up to Tinder and start swiping. I mean, that's what works, it's just right? just company I'm missing. Although I don't really want any. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? Maybe, maybe that is what the problem with is in the world that that was very deep in the moment i didn't realize it would be so profound to me what's that when people people feel like they want they don't want to be lonely they want a girlfriend boyfriend whatever maybe all they really need is company and they don't want a relationship they just want company and then that's how people get into toxic ass relationships because they're like well i'll just latch on to this person who will give me constant company that's the easiest way to get it constant, you know? You know, and it's like, oh, maybe it is. Maybe you just, yeah. Especially maybe. when you live under the guise that relationships are, you know. Defining of who you are? Yeah. Yeah. And, like, the American dream and, like, yeah, I guess. I get yeah. that. I don't know. Interesting. When did so. you leave Henley Church on Valentine's Day? Valentine's Henley today? Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. Okay. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Good point. I thought I did. Uh, what were you doing at the time? You just of, asked him. Yeah, we already know that question. Let's go with that. What did Dr. Decker think Dr. of you? Dr. Decker felt that Hannah was holding me back. The memories of Hannah. In his opinion, I was holding on to the past. So I guess he cursed me. That's even a thing. He cursed you? Yes, Dr. Decker cursed me. I don't really want to talk about it, but let's just say I blame him for the way I am. Okay. Can you give me some advice, Doctor? Jonas, this is your time in the shade, the time in the sun. What advice do you need? You, you got it. I've been trying to think how I can get past today. I've come up with a couple of choices. I could set fire to Hannah's photographs. I've got them in Dropbox, anyway. But setting fire to the clothes did the trick. Or setting fire to a rocking chair. She sounds like an old lady, but she loved that rocking chair, which I've not sat in since. Which one do you think's best? Neither. Which one? Um, hmm, the chair. Okay, that's that's the one I was thinking as well. Set fire to the rocking chair. I never like the way it moves forwards and backwards. Oh yeah, forwards. rocking chairs, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. I, I never trusted a rocking chair. I didn't know. All right, we already know what he was doing, so I don't feel the need to ask that. He's still on red too, so it, we've only got one question. We'll we'll come back if we need to. Yeah, well, we'll do that on the next one then. All right, that's fair. All right, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.